Hi, I'm Brad Dickerson, Director of the Massachusetts General Hospital Frontotemporal Disorders Unit. I'm a behavioral neurologist and neuroscientist, and I want to tell you about the clinical services and research that we do in our unit. Frontotemporal dementia is a general term that applies to a, a range of specific diseases and syndromes that have different names and that are a complex array of conditions. All of the conditions that fall under the umbrella of FTD require an expert group of specialists to diagnose, monitor, treat, and ultimately help patients and families connect with the resources that they need in order to live the best quality life possible. Most patients and families start by working with us through clinic. They come to the main hospital to get an evaluation, sometimes as a second opinion, sometimes as part of ongoing clinical care, and we usually talk to them about research opportunities. Many people come to the Charlestown Navy Yard for some of the advanced imaging studies that we can do with our partnership with the Martino Center for Biomedical Imaging. When we try to make a patient's diagnosis, we feel like we're detectives. We need the history, the story that involves telling how the symptoms evolved and affected the person. We need test results from paper and pencil or computerized testing of a person's abilities or their difficulties with certain kinds of functions. And then there are all the tests that we do. We have an interdisciplinary team. Many different types of health professionals meet with them and they do things like review MRIs, review PET scans, get language evaluations, or um, get up-to-date medications. So oftentimes it takes a really long time, but I truly believe that they're getting the best care that they can. We think it's of utmost importance to spend a lot of time and effort training specialists who are still in their early days of their career to understand the complexities of these diseases. I really think that we're looking for cures um, and treatments, but in the meantime, we're also providing support, and I think that's really important. Hi, my name is Kimon. I'm a patient. This is my caregiver, Sybil. We've been married for... 48 years. 48 years, allegedly. Happily. Happily, of course. We first met Dr. Dixon uh, about four years ago. He was one of the nicest people I've ever met in my whole life. And it was in 2012 when my husband was diagnosed with FTD. And um, I think it's an awful disease. However, we are certainly so involved in it at this point that um, it's a part, it is a part of our life, but I made MGH FTD, the fight for the research, a very big part of our life together. By participating in and developing community events, we're able to offer educational opportunities for the lay community and for healthcare professionals, participate in advocacy efforts, and develop new services and programs that enable us to do more as a community than what any of us can do alone. We want treatments that are effective for the symptoms of FTD, uh, but even more importantly, we want, we're going after the big goal, which is disease-modifying treatment. I derive a lot of strength and resiliency from just the relationships that I have with my patients, uh, with, with, with you all, um, and just seeing your strength in the face of, of the life challenges that you are dealing with is an enormous um, source of strength for me, so thank you. So I've got Caitlin coming up from Med Rhythms, which is a group um, here in Boston that provides services, and also Caitlin leads the choir that we're doing this research on at MGH. Get those eggs out. The heartbeat. Honestly, this has become my dream job because I get to work with such a great research team and I get to connect with patients and family members that are all unique in their great ways and um, I laugh and I cry and I just really get every day to be able to have the opportunity to talk with these amazing people that are all coming together with us to find a cure for FTD. I have hope for FTD because we're bringing all the pieces together that are going to lead to the clinical trials right around the corner that are going to change the trajectory of these illnesses. I have hope for FTD because there are so many people like myself and this is the only way we're going to get help. 
good job.